hands so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go. Spend my coin for sure. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I just wanna feel alive. It's just what I do when I'm out. So. Try not to hold me down. Feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at those beautiful stars. I wanna drive a faster car. Nothing can break me. No, no, nothing can break me. Try not to hold me down. Feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at those beautiful stars. I wanna take a trip to Mars. Nothing can. Drive a faster car. Lay my troubles to rest. Blow the smoke through my cigarette. City lights looking fine, and I know this is my time now. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I feel alive. It's just what I do when I'm out. So try not to hold me down. Feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at those beautiful stars. I wanna drive. Drive a faster car. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. Try not to hold me down. Feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at those beautiful stars. I wanna drive. Nothing can break me. No, no, nothing can break me. Oh, that might be, um, that's like one of the first songs that I ever, um, like listened to from Epidemic. Might be one of my, my favorite ones. It's just like, it's upbeat. It's fast. It's, it's really good. I like it a lot. Um, okay. I gotta open up my template here. All right. Well, today we're doing some Affinity Photo 2, um, testing. Um, I have a new template that I made this, this past week. It's for making Instagram carousel posts. I don't really, like, make Instagram carousel posts. Um, I don't even post on Instagram very much at all. Um, I actually don't even have Instagram installed on my phone or my computer. Um, but I thought this was a very interesting way to make it. I think it's going to be really easy. Um, there's a couple websites where you can go out and you can, like, Cre you know create stuff and lay it out and everything and i'm like how can i do that in affinity photo 2 so what i'm able to do is i have kind of a big box that i can expand to be however long i want i can create everything in there i can line it up so everything's on like a you know a nice grid line and then i can actually just shift it up and move it into all of the like posts kind of like boxes and i can actually like do it without having to move stuff around it's i can just i can build it in a nice big open canvas 
I can post it, you know, put it anywhere and line it up with anything and then move it up and it's already all set up and it's all great. So that's what we're doing today. That is what we are doing. Um, I want to add a game capture. Capture specific window. Capture cursor. Okay. Mate, where is it? Hello? Do I have to be... No? Wait, where is it? I don't want the screen capture that I want. Wait, why isn't it there? Okay, fine. I guess I'll just be careful not to, uh... Dang it, I had it on a different one. It was perfect. Okay, let me get my file explorer over here. All right, so here we are. So this is what I'm talking about. I've got this artboard down here, right here, and I can put uh, photos and stuff in here. And then what I can do is I can actually just move it up and I can export each of these individually. And we can create posts really really quickly hopefully that's the idea okay i need like some music though a little impromptu um stream tonight but i had some free time we were going to um play a game but it got delayed so all right, put that over there. So, hopefully you all are doing pretty good today. Hopefully you're having a nice, a nice Saturday night. If you're watching March Madness, holy moly, there are some crazy games. If you're watching the FDU versus Purdue game, that was absolutely insane. Um, I, I knew that one was going to be crazy on Wednesday whenever they actually went through and um, FDU got into the tournament. That was that was that was a crazy game against Texas Southern. They just came out swinging. Um, I feel like I like. How's the road on that one? I like that one. 721. Right, so we're down here. What we can do is, where did it go? Oh, it's on our board one. Okay, there we go. So if we move up here, yeah. So here's our, go down to our board six. Here's our grid lines for our photos. If you can see, oops. And now all we have to do is just line up this photo in here. Um, right, so let's put that there. I need one at like a thousand. Why does it snap to there? Oh, that's for the photo, okay, there we go. And this one can come down, be there. And if you don't know, Secret, if you're watching the stream, we designed a little cool 3D printable. I call it the spinning shoe mount, kind of. It's a working, working, working progress, uh, working progress title, but. 
it's pretty cool. I like it. All right, so now what we can do is we can go through. I need something like this. Probably that one. Not, not the greatest. Uh, And so that can go to there, that can go to there. That needs like a lot or something. It's a little bit better. I like how it brings out the red. That looks awesome. Okay, now let's go up here. We can create a little rectangle. Right, and that can go on here. Whoops. Right there. Yeah, perfect. Why is there like a. I think that's just a graphical thing. Okay. Perfect. Now we need the next one. This one I'm actually pretty happy with. Oh, you can see. Me. Oh, okay. Go at this one. Seven sixty-five. I bet if we do the teal orange again, looks a little better. All right. So now this one can be like a two. All right. Can be like a two for right. And then we can go same thing. Bam. Just like so. Throw that on there. All right, and now you've got this nice carousel where you've got this one that's a two pager. By the way, another secret we've got some IKEA hooks as well, if you're interested. We've been doing a lot of stuff off stream, and we've been doing a lot of stuff like kind of uh, hidden. But uh, it's coming out one day. Okay, now one of these was really good. I liked one of these. These are like both the same. Let's go with 775. By the way, this is all shot with the new 50 millimeter lens that we got. So it's very, very sharp and crisp and clean. I'm, I'm a, actually a big fan of that 50 millimeter now. I'm very happy that I got it. I think it's a little bit too much. Let me see. Is it even needed like at all? Probably not. Maybe just 25. Right, so there is our carousel. Now, like one of the hardest things for the carousel though is to get an image to be like halfway on one picture and halfway on the other one. Right, like you can go through and make these all yourself. Now the hardest one is something like this, right? Where you can't really do this um, in individual pictures, right? That's kind of where like the hardest thing is one of the hardest things right so right and so one of the things i want to be able to showcase is over here i want to be able to uh i've got this one where it's the cameras in front like that and the camera is behind so maybe 731, 733, let's say. And 731. Okay. 
Right, and so we can go through. I like having that board there, though. Right, so maybe it's like up here. Right, and let's get this rectangle here for now. Right, and then we can go through and move the entire picture. Which we'll go through and add teal orange. Oh, maybe we won't. <laughs> ah, those look too bad. This one's actually really nice. We didn't have to have any lot for that, do we? Oh yeah, that's too much. That one like is actually already really warm. This one I think needs to be a little warmer to match the tone. Same thing with this one. Not like too warm, but like just like a little bit warmer. Right, so you can have this. Maybe we have like a, some lines that go along here. Right, we could edit this in designer. Best stream ever. <laughs> hey Josh, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing good today. And so you see like things like this would be really hard to do if you were editing individual files, right? Because like how would you ever line this up to be like perfect, you know? Like, you would never. But how you doing, Josh? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing good today. Oh, I teal and orange to that. I love the teal and orange one. Teal and orange is amazing. Um, see, so now maybe what we do is we actually bring this down a little bit. But then we go through and we actually make the picture bigger. Yeah. Bam. So there you go. So now if you hide this, right, this is what your Instagram carousel would look like, right? Maybe we can go through, add a pixel layer. Um, let's go to the uh, freestyler brush and let's see if we can add some like st these stars here. Princeton just won again. Who who were they playing? I know uh, Arkansas won. Arkansas beat Kansas, and that was that was definitely interesting. Let's see, if we can put like new watch. Missouri, a seven seed? Oh, man. <gasps> oh. Yikes. Dude, FDU plays again tomorrow. Um, part of me kind of wants... There's part of me um, that wants the Florida Atlantic to win because of... Uh, I think I know someone there. And then 
but the other part of me want, really wants FDU to win. <laughs> Dude, I don't know if you've watched FDU. FDU is like sweet. They are, dude, they are fast. They are a fun team to watch. I was watching them on Wednesday night, and I knew Wednesday night at, when they won and it said they're facing Purdue, I was like, this is it. I was like, this is going to be a crazy game against Purdue, and it was. It was absolutely crazy. Oops, I need to like... Pink. Three D print. Oops, it's like too far over. <laughs> um, this thing's like coming down. Hold on. Wing. 3D print. Um, and then what about what is this one? Uh, it's just like a mono line, basically, which is actually what I need. Short. Then we've got just like yellow. This is a little bit too big. Boom. Ready to print yours today. Um, yeah, these files would be up on Thingiverse. I did make a change to to these two parts, so I'll have to see how it um how it goes. But other than that, it is all done. These brushes what tech doodles. Oh yeah, here's the doodles. What are these eyes? Run on the that one. Wish there was like a easier way to look at the stars. Don't need stabilizer anymore. Wait, we should do a five star. Two, three, four, five. Okay, but we got to get rid of the, uh, what is this? Why is it like a fancy, you know, it's just the erase. It's the erase, but it looks like it's a little bit fancier. It's like a circle one with the, eyes, mouth, oh, that's it. There's textures, we could do a texture. What would that look like? Wait, huh? Oh, I'm on the eraser tools. Look at we're a piece of paper. <laughs> oh wait, I gotta do it all in one. That's pretty cool. Look at that. You can have it be like it looks like you're on paper. That's oh that's kind of, that actually looks Kind of cool. That one looks really good, actually. If you wanted to be like, look at this paper I found. 
That looks actually pretty sweet. All right, so I think this is a pretty, uh, pretty nice little thing here. All right, we've got some designs. So now the hardest part in all this is if I go through here. All right, we close all of these sub menus. Some of I will say I think the menus have gotten a little more confusing. Maybe it's not as, as bad if you expand it. But now what we can do is we can copy this. Throw this like between here. Right? Shift it up. It's going to go into artboard 1. But if you just drag it out of here. Now it is no longer on. any of the artboards well once you do it that's the only problem is you need to uh, why does it keep this one's the right height right 2500 Yep. Okay, let me delete that. Hold on. I just worked the other day. Negative a thousand and nine. Let's just make it negative nine, right? No. I just add two thousand. Twenty five hundred. Okay, minus twenty five hundred. And what does this start at? Okay, so if I add twenty eight hundred, right? Because this one starts at zero. Okay, take the group. Minus twenty eight hundred. Whoops. Uh, minus. Hold on. Still has a couple bugs, but okay. No, get out of between it. There we go. There we go. Okay. Right. So now you've got this. And let me go over here. So what you have to do now is if you click on artboard one, right and then you go to export it'll export just this little just this frame right so it exports just what is in here right so now i'm going to go through and do that export we're going to name this uh let's throw it on here oh i don't have my uh my thing. Here, let me throw it on this hard drive. Hold on. I'm sorry, SSD. Sorry, it's not a hard drive, it's a solid state drive. Social, let's go to um, So we'll export the first one. Artboard two. What's the uh, Control Alt Shift S? Control Alt Shift S. Right, JPEG number two. Spinning sheet number two. And then we can go to Artboard three. Control Alt Shift S. Export. Spinning shoe point three, control alt shift S, export point four, spinning shoe point five, 
And then, when I come over here, go to the, go over here. And go to the SSD, YouTube post. Right now, here's our first one, right? Here's our first one, our second one, our third one, our fourth one, and our fifth one. And so, if we went to go th went and upload these to Instagram, they would be they would be perfect. They'd be lined up perfectly, I think. They should be. And it would be amazing. So, that's how we create our Instagram carousel. Now, if you didn't need it to be all fancy like this, um, you could just use the, uh, the ones up here, and you can make your individual posts in here like if you're doing like a tutorial carousel where you you know you don't have things going between them then feel free to just use the artboards up here um but if you're doing one where you want to go through and have multiple things at once i think this is a good a good layout for it I think this is really, really cool. So, hopefully you uh, enjoyed it. It was a nice short little stream. And, um, yeah, I need to uh, do some more streaming. If you're interested in a, like, tutorial that's a bit more, a bit easier to follow, um, I'll probably make one of those in the future. Um, so, we'll see. Let me save this, by the way. <sighs> um, I also want to do one, if you've ever seen those, like, paper designs, where, like, it kind of keeps coming in on itself, like, it gets smaller and smaller, and it looks like a bunch of, like, paper cutouts. I want to do a stream for that, and we might have it as, like, a, a celebration for hitting a 1,000 subscribers. Might do that as well. I'm, like, slightly out of focus, I feel. But yeah, thank you so much, everyone, for being here. Thank you for hanging out. Let's go see if we can find a nice, good outro song. Let's see what a good outro song is. <laughs> but thank you very much for hanging out. Thank you for being here. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much for hanging out, everybody. Have a good night. I'll see you next time. Thank you for uh, watching and being awesome. And here is Sweat on Me by Tape Machines. I gotta change some stuff. I don't have, actually have an outro huh, screen. All right, we're getting there one day. Good night. Take it to Mars, oh, I'll stick like glue inside your mind. Just watch me break in your sweat. You're falling into me, touch me, I swear. You would do anything that I want, so keep us awake till the dawn. Oh, baby, feel free. I wanna make you sweat on me. I wanna make you sweat on me. Watch me break